right there where you are. You will raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. The Lord said there are certain warfares in certain lives that must not continue beyond tonight. Therefore, raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. Say every prayer arrow. That I will fire tonight shall bring me testimonies. Can I hear you shouting that? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. every prayer arrow that I will fire tonight shall bring me testimonies. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My destiny. Are your mommy? What are you doing? In the valley of witchcraft. Can you shout that loud and clear? Jump out my fire! This is not a death on a go Jesus name we pray. Lord, Jesus, like Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Shout it in your language now. Father, Baba, we are here tonight. At this very very strategic service lay your hands upon us educate our spirit in Jesus mighty name we pray let's have a single blessing bow down your heads beloved say father cause a great deliverance to happen in my life tonight in the name of Jesus talk to the Lord now you are Let's open our eyes. As you take our Bibles about the baby and open to the book of Job. As she see with Job, the problem of placental bondage. Ishuru ide olubi. Job, we Job chapter forty. Ori ogoji verse sixteen. Ese ikeni dini ogun. One side I say yes. Anybody shibe ko pe bene. Job Job 40 ori ogoji 16. Ese ikeni di ni ogun. Lo na. Wo nisisin yin. 
His strength is in his loins. His force is in the navel of his belly. Low. Now. His strength is in his loins. And his force is in the navel of his belly. There describing almost three things at the same time. Le kansho ese oro Olorun yi o n sapejuwe nkan meta ototo. Describing the placenta, o n sapejuwe olubi and the power it carries. Ati agbara to ni describing the umbilical cord, o n se apejuwe okun ibi and the power it carries. Ati agbara to ni describing your belly button, o si tun sapejuwe idodo re and the power it carries the placenta is an organ which links the fetus to the mother to transfer oxygen and nutrients to the fetus and waste products to the mother the mother I have been told what is over me that a placenta collector will be willing to pay as much as 500,000 naira to purchase the placenta. In the last few years, a lot of things that many people do not understand as cage their destiny. The thing is this. There is no new devil. He's still the old devil. But using our ignorance against us. And this is a great, great trouble. What is the placenta? The placenta is an organ that develops in pregnant women. It provides the unborn child with food and oxygen and carries away the baby's waste. And it produces chemicals which maintain pregnancy. And help to regulate the baby's development. Minutes after the baby is born, the placenta separates from the womb. The organ that connects the baby with the parents, that's what the placenta is. Although this, although this placenta is a physical organ, but many do not recognize the spiritual significance of the placenta. It is also a spiritual pipeline. It has a spiritual counterpart. The enemy knows this very very well and the enemy has exploded the mystery of the placenta to divert multitudes of destinies ignorance is a terrible thing indeed giving birth as a whole is a bloody business and life is inside that blood. The placenta has very serious implication for a man's life. Blood from placenta tissue so also have very serious implication. A lady doctor. Doctor was still a virgin and could not get somebody to marry her at the age of 50. Until she, she came across 
what I'm sharing tonight. And God revealed to her that she should go and ask them what they did with her placenta when she was born. She went back to her parents. Say, Mommy, what happened to my placenta when I was born? And they say, Ah, a witch doctor told us to hang it in the attic. So, oh, she's at the age of 50, her placenta was still available but in the attic hanging inside the attic and as long as they had it there her life was hanging majority of the people that are gathered here cannot tell us specifically what happened to their placenta. They cannot tell us what they did with it. The enemy has exploited this mystery to cause a lot of havoc. I'm praying for someone here today that every placental bondage that has kept you in a stagnant position and you did not even know about it in the name which is above all names Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command that bondage to be broken tonight let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Let it be broken. In the name of Jesus. Some families they preserve the placenta for consumption. They eat it. We have had a case like that here in Mountain of Fire. 1993. And when he got to that situation, I sent that sister back to the grandmother to go and find out what was going wrong here. You get a good job, two months, she sacked. She asked for class. She has distinction in masters. They were begging her to come and do a PhD. She'll get a job. Two months. She's gone. She went to the grandmother to ask questions. And the grandmother said, I am inside of you. You are inside of me. So, I control your life. Did he say, I reject it in Jesus' name? Say, yes, you can say that. Say, but when you were born, I collected the placenta. I cooked all cross with it. And I ate everything. So, you are inside of me. I am inside of you. Can you raise up your right hand? And say, every unconscious bondage troubling my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Then we pray. The Bible says his strength is in his loins. His force is in the navel of his belly. There are situations where somebody's placenta was converted to a waistband. There are cases where 
somebody's placenter was buried in a cursed land. And so the person was cursed. There are cases where such placentas are fed to crocodiles. There are cases where a placenta was poorly buried and pigs went there and went let them see lobby dug it up and ate it there are cases like that it affects people seriously affects people's life there are cases where they will bury the placenta of the person and then plant a tree on top of it what happens is this whatever happens to that tree that is on top of that placenta is what happens to the person in real life when wind blows the person is blown when the leaves drop the person will drop his growth there are hundreds of people here tonight there are trees planted on their placenta and that tree determines the cause of their destiny what I sent tonight may be very strange that's why I needed to explain to you very well when you start praying many many years back a 72 year old man came here for deliverance that's why it's good to pray my father visit me in the morning of my life not when the sun is setting 72 came for deliverance at the age of 72 I have never seen anybody like that old man with his photographic memory at 72 if this man sits down and you are holding a meeting and there are about 40 of you in that meeting and you make him the secretary he won't write anything at the meeting when you are talking you just look at your face when you at your face when you finish he looks at your face all 40 of you may talk in that meeting after the meeting this old man will take his Bible and he will write down exactly what each person said he will never forget it but in spite of that he was as poor as a church rat with that kind of intelligence he started praying he started deliverance it was then the secret was revealed at 72 when he was born was the only child of his parents when he was born the native doctor that came there looked at him and said ah, this boy this boy his glory is not in this country his glory is out, is outside this country so I see this boy controlling white men so that's what his destiny is his parents were sad they now have the native doctor so, are you saying he won't live in Nigeria. Say so, yes. Because his destiny is not here. His destiny is the white people. He's a, he's a great man. Who is going to have honor and respect? The parents now said, Native doctor, what do we do? 
Kinikashi. So he doesn't leave Nigeria. Kuma Baku, Nigeria. Master, you don't want him to leave? I have a law. It's okay. Uncovuru. Bring his placenta. A mulubirewa. And the parents handed the placenta over to this man. I will be let it be a lubio labor balao ilo. Who went to the lagoon somewhere in this Lagos? To Losio Dukan, Lekoi. Tied a big stone to the placenta. Also, Okutanla, more lubio, and issued some incantations on the placenta. Also, pray I want for con, see a lubino. That a stone do not float. Baby, I will put out shell lefo. As this placenta goes down now, the man should never leave this country. And that was how his war started. It was when he started deliverance. A letter that invited him to Sweden. Ten years ago. No one knows which kind of post office it is. The letter now arrived. After 10 years. At the age of 72. Let me ask you a question. Do you want to be like this old man? Then in that situation. When I say begin to pray, you better begin to pray. Long handling of placentas is being used by the enemy to cause havoc. Beloved, do you know that that placenta is the next best thing to a living person? It almost behaves like a human being. It is the only easily obtainable piece of human tissue that is not dead or diseased. Only iru eyare niyo tiomi tiko tiku. It can actually be kept alive for five hours by scientists. Koda wone mo ejile wone mu kowa la iti kufuwa katimano. This is this has a very serious spiritual implication. Ele isi ni tumo toshe pataki ni pataki. When there is life, there is spirit. He said, What do I do? Mine was buried. Mine was thrown into the water. If you bury it, to bury mole, and you already have an enemy targeting you. To see the land demons, demons from the earth are waiting for you there. The Throw it into the water. Water spirits are waiting for you there. You plant tree on top of it. Destiny will be tied to that tree. You throw it to the bush. The forest demons will be waiting for you there. You flush it. The, the, the enemy has something called placenta manipulation, placenta witchcraft. Once your placenta is in the bank of the enemy, you go back in for your harassment, it's already created. But thank God. The Bible says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. The lawful captives shall be set free. That's what the Bible says. Some throw the placenta into the dustbin. It has not escaped from their hands. Some throw into the gutter. Tell me why you see no gota. That's not escape from the hand. Some forget into the hospitals. Hello, I bag where I lay was on the hospitals later sell it off. I want lay was on I want yeah beta still not free. Some ground it and use it for cosmetics. It's still not free from their hand. Some eat it up. I want me my jet. Still not free from their hand. Some throw into the river. Still not free from their hand. Some surrender it to idols. That one is even more terrible. It's more horrible. Some feed it to animals. Some put crap. 
cracks in the wall. Awon elomiran won la ogiri. Put the placenta there. Ma si jo olubi ohun si be. Some sun dried. Awon elomiran won sa so orun ko gbe and keep it. Ma wa toju re. Still not flow with their hand. Ko ti bo lowo won. Some mix it with herbs. Awon elomiran won da po ma gbo for soup. It's still not free from their hands. Go to boil our Some burn into ashes. I want to learn how to do the ru and mix it with the mother's food. Once it da for monje ya. It's still not free from their hands. Go to boil our own. Some keep it in a bottle. I want to learn how to see no ego. Then label it. And what's that, Missy? They keep it in a bottle. Well, fit for more. See no ego. What's that, Missy? The day you offend the man, or just to bash your own, or you offend the woman, I will share your opinion. He takes the bottle. You beg on where the placenta is. If it will be on what? Because the issue causes against you. As in my fury. Some wrap it around sacred trees. I want to learn why love so much. It gives you still want more. Some offer it as a sacrifice at the crossroads. It's still not free from their hands. Some directly use it as charm or fetish power. A kind of alternative to grinding babies. It's still not free from their hands. Some cut it into pieces. They cook it and unconsciously serve it to their visitors. Once they it's still not free from the hand. Some put it in a cauldron. A pot. Having salt and water. It's still not free from the hand. Some bury it in a pot. Facing specific direction. It's still not free from the hand. Some plant coconut trees on top of it. Or palm tree. It's still not free from the hand. These are ways I want to know in which the enemy get at the foundation of people's lives and they cause plenty of confusion. When there is placenta bondage in operation you will be dreaming oh my lala going back going back to where you were born going back to the land of your birth going back to a location you are very familiar with in the spirit realm but physically you are not familiar when somebody is not this kind of bondage that will be closed heaven things are not working. Some things won't work at all. I won't go near she chef. If you're a lady, what do you mean in your? You begin to notice that you are living an identical life with your mother. Oh, back is it go better? It be be it be a year to fair jotty yare. But only the negative aspects of our life they are manifesting in your life. You can't wait till Danny no yare. Don't share the yare. It's evidence of placenta bondage. I swear I do love you. If anything you want to do, anything you want to carry out, your mother will always know. Even if you don't tell her, that is a bondage. When somebody is using your glory to prosper, that is his placenta bondage. When he looks as if you are tied to a post like a goat, and you have limitations. You try to make a headway, making a headway becomes very difficult. The placenta bondage is in place. When you notice that your virtues have been cleared away, you've lost your beauty and your glory. You are just staying alive. Well, you don't understand what you should do with your life. What they are calling spiritual decorations, you don't have it. The enemy is gradually reducing you to a shameful skeleton of your royal past. And converting you to woods and stones. Finances cease. It will soon come here, and then starts. You to have better father. Then storms will come. Ijiade. Finances go down. 
Et au genou à ton lolé. Comme ça, pégé. À ton bois, ok. All this is evidence that there is placenta bondage. Vous pouvez les acquérir. Pouvez y dérouler wani. When the enemy is converting the beauty of somebody to ashes. Vous voyez au tabac sur un wani au diéru. It's evidence of placenta bondage. Acquérir. Pouvez y dérouler wani. Are you here tonight? Oh, our Bila Shalei. And you are pressed down all with this squeeze you on bed. Vous pouvez banner un sin. You need to pray mercilessly tonight. You are hearing strange voices giving you evil commands. You need to aggressively pray tonight. Are you here tonight? You always encountering dead persons in your dream. Bobo Baloman, Shalaba, Padia, when it told to Kulo, you are last of placenta bondage. Apere, pay the UV. Are you here tonight? Oh, I'm Bila Shalem. No matter the press you have prayed, eating in the dream, sex in the dream did not stop. Iru Adura, you go back. Did you know you are like a ballo for you are lousy? Are you here tonight? Oh, I'm Bila Shalem. Dream of being lost. Oh, man, la la po sonu. You see yourself in strange meetings. Only la re ni nuk padi a jeji. Animals pursue you. Awe no kon leo. Strange people pursue you. Awe ya jeji leo. You pray and pray and pray. Oh, badula, badula, titi. It's as if they don't want to let you go. Ozi jokwe won of F.E.O. Sile. Are you here tonight? Abo wa ambila chale. You always see blood. Oh, man, re ye jeni ba gogo. Your pregnancy disappears. Oh, you re asi kora. Or unexplainable powerlessness. Abi. I lay at all, they shall lay backwardness at the genuine placenta bondage. It do lubini. They are always injecting with poison. Go go, but you want to imagine they see a lot of when you sleep in Batobasso. It is the same thing in content. So you know that is causing this problem. Low far. I want you to understand. That ignorance of this is not an excuse. It's not an excuse. The fact that you don't know. It's not an excuse. The enemy will still trouble you. Are you here tonight? You always striving. Striving. Work hard and work hard and work hard. To get to the position you want to get to. You can't get there. Are you here tonight? You know you are not a sick person. You know you hate it's been sick. Oh, my poor Cody, that's my shaison. This array of frequent sicknesses. Sibe, Sibe, I saw a babo. Frequent sicknesses. I saw a babo. You have a bondage to break. Oh, need the gun. Are you here tonight? Oh, I'm a bill. I shall lay. Something is trying to kill you. Oh, come on, you like to This accident. 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 Something is after your life. Oh, come on, look by me. Are you having dreams? Oh, in Lala of death. You need to pray. Are you here tonight? You are having this. You are having this deep sense of shame. Omani imolara itiju nervousness. Aibaliara fear. Iberu jumpiness. Ila ilo always feeling guilty. Koma shabi anipo jebi. People always loading what is not yours on you, which is bad. Severe anxiety. All this happens when you are under placenta bondage. So the way they dispose of that placenta speaks a lot to the cause of your destiny. What do we do tonight? Number one, we need to surrender our lives to Jesus. Number two, we need to bring quality repentance to the Lord. You can't pray the kind of prayers we are praying tonight if you are still living in a known sin. Number three, you need to locate the placenta by the Holy Spirit. Locate it wherever it is. Number four, you need to bind and cast out every inherited spirit of bondage. You need to withdraw and destroy the placenta. And you need to recover your lost blessings. 
The safest way to dispose of placenta is to collect it, dry it up, burn it, completely. Burn it to ashes. And throw it away. Where the enemy cannot gather it together again. To torment you. Take it. Anoint it. Dry it up. Burn it. Anoint it. Dry it. Dry it. Burn it. to ashes. it. Dry it. Dry it. The enemy will be waiting for you there. Tonight is a night of great deliverance. So rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. In case you are here tonight and you are not born again, I want to give you that opportunity. Right there where you are, it's a pastor. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Let's raise up your right hand where you are and say what I'm going to say after. So, Father the name of Jesus I come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life in Jesus name Amen thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Father Baba we are gathered before you here as many people as are here tonight and they are suffering from placenta manipulation and bondage father baba let them be set free let them be set free let him be set free. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. My Father. Give me a miracle that will make me forget my past trouble. My father, give me a miracle that will make me forget my past trouble. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and answer that miracle. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, who called Jesus, like Badura. So every power that hates to see me laugh, you are a liar. This is not a day to negotiate. We are not here for negotiations. We are here for actions. Silence. Silence. I somebody in this gallery up there. Like this left hand. Somebody in that gallery. God brought you here tonight. Because you have actually been buried alive. Although you are moving about. But the real you has been buried. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke is broken completely.
That's the person over there. Oni to oni embe. Yes, Ben. Let her go. Fizile. Let him go. Fizile. All sisters who are here, Ogbo awon obirin to wa nbi yi, looking forward to marrying a good husband. Ti won wo ju Olorun fun oko re. All sisters who are here, Ogbo awon okunrin to wa nbi yi, looking forward to marrying a good wife. Ti won gba Olorun gbo fun. All parents who are here, Ogbo obi to wa nbi. Looking forward to their children marrying good spouses. Ti won fe ki o omo won ko fe aya tabi oko re. They should raise their voice in boiling anger like this. Ti won gbe ohun soke ninu ibinu nla bayi. Where is the Lord God of Elijah. Disappoint my marital enemies. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Disappoint them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have a word for somebody here. I don't know who you are. But the word came like this. What said? Beloved. What is it? 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 You shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We shall bless you. Thank you, Jesus. We shall bless you. We shall bless you. Jesus. We shall bless you. Silence now. I want to pray for specific people. Father, Baba, all those who are here now, Bugba, I want to one in by, and I say, black hand, to walk, walk, holding their hands, to walk, walk, anything. Time they want to do something good. There is this black hand holding their hands. Let the black hands catch fire. Now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That person over there. I say what for you here tonight. From the same place where you were deported. From there shall your blessings manifest. Yes. Baby. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. No what do see what you buy? Father, Baba, these hands that are stretched towards this altar. Oh, what do you want now? See what you prepare ye. Let them become the hand of healing, the hands of deliverance. With these hands, the Lord, what want ye? Let yokes be broken. I just go for. Let destinies be restored. Let power flow into these hands. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. let these hands become divine battle axes. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Get us separate. If you have any infirmities in any part of your body, please stand to smite the place mercilessly. Do it twenty-one times. And shout the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Let's go. Oh yeah.
Father, as many people as are here tonight, and their placenta is the enemy they are using against them. As many as people, people as are here tonight, the enemy has manipulated your placenta when you were a baby. In the name which is above all names, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the Son of the Living God, receive your deliverance now. In the name of Jesus, I guess you. Yes. Then keep your hand on that belly button. Yes. 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 I'm going to count seven now. Oh, count kade ke jebai. Smite that stomach seven times. Bye, kunye ni ba meje. Don't be afraid. Na je beru. Close to the belly button. Ni to si dodo yen. One. Eni. Aha. The sword is touching the blood. It that thing ko eje. Two. Eji. Three. Eta. Four. Eni. Five. Six, seven, seven, eight, yes, enough is enough. Okay, any power that does not want you to lift your head, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Beginning from today, let your knee look. Every good thing you have lost, go go and call it to it. Padano, begin to possess them. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Within the next seven days, let your job be Jesus. Receive uncommon testimonies. Receive uncommon miracles. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray.
any power that we want to attack anyone here agbara kagbara to ba fe gbogun ti eni se ni the prayers here tonight nitori awon adura to gba mi la i bury them alive in the name of the lord ya ni oruko jesus thank you jesus o se o jesus let's bring out a man of water please eja ka mo mi man of ajade let your amen roar like fire and like thunder yaki Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus Father we thank you for a time like this and we thank you for this manna water service let your fire your power your glory your mightiness enter into this water in the name of Jesus let the fire of the God of Elijah flow into this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water become the water of healing, the water of deliverance, the water of breakthrough, the water of power, the water of strength, divine medication in the name of Jesus. Let the angel that used to trouble the water of Bethesda trouble this water now in the name of Jesus. Let it become the water that will carry the anointing of ease. I sanctify this water now. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make His face shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Father, every prayer request, I answer them by fire. And by the time we meet for the next manna water service, let our testimonies be awesome. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't share the grace of fellowship.